And here we go with our next bout tonight. Fight fans, three rounds. This in the light heavyweight division. And making his way to the cage first, fighting out of the blue corner from England, here is Nick Nemar. First time with us here on Cage Warriors for Nick Nembard. Bit of a mixed record for him. To be fair, two wins, three losses. Most recently coming up after Matt Allen, who you know, we've seen on Cage Warriors. What a specimen that guy is. Last picked up a win November of 2012. KO, one punch knockout. The author for Window. One thing you can say about Nembard is he goes harder, he goes home, he wins by stoppage, he loses by stoppage. A couple of KO wins on his ledger, professional and amateur bout. That's it, it's the expression, it's the intensity. It's just knowing that I'm going to get stuck in there, I'm going to have a fight. One of us is going to connect, and that's the way it's going to be. Cena and Storkus is a fantastic opponent to do just that with him. Absolutely. Storkus not originally the wrestler, we saw him throw hands last time out. Nick Nembard. Will surely oblige him if he wants to do that again here. Nembard fighting out the Trojan free fight to Sam. More trouble in than Matt Ewan, the hardest. UK MMA veteran in his corner. Nembard not fighting all that often. Did make his pro debut all the way back in 2008. Backing on just the, the five pro contests in that time. So not competing all that often, but now there's training the whole time as well. So a wealth of experience for him as he enters the cage here. And finally go to the red corner, making his way to the cage from Wales, Seamus Narcos. And a big show of support here in Newport for Seamus Norcus. Originally from Lithuania. He currently calls Cardiff Wales home, pointing out Brotherhood MMA. Yeah, we'll be uh, enjoying the hometown support here. We saw him on our most recent trip to Wales, uh, Cadre 67 in Swansea, put a, a profound beating on Stuart Tyree. That was a doctor stoppage. But just, I mean, you, you can't really fathom the amount of damage he managed to put on Stuart Tyree in that fight. As you said, has that wrestling background normally known as a wrestler who's going to pick someone up, stop them on the head, ground and pound them, and grind them out if he needs it. But that fight was all stand up, and he got the better of it. Absolutely open fork. Huge cuts on Stuart Tyree. Real phenomenal performance there back in April of this year. Three wins against two losses on his record, but the loss is going to Steve Evans and Jack Marshman, who we're going to see later tonight in our co-main event. Certainly no means being taking on Jack Marshman, just a fourth throw bout. It'll be really interesting to see his game plan coming into this one. If he chooses to try and build on that striking that he had last time out, or if he's going to return to his roots and try and wrestle Nick Nembard. If you looked at the records on paper, you'd say the smart thing to do would be to go back to the wrestling base, drag this one to the ground, See what you can do from a top position, but you never quite know. And judging by his nickname, all you want is the Lithuanian lunatic. And here we go once again, fight fans. This battle is scheduled for three five minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a mixed martial artist standing six feet, one inch tall. Weighing it officially 203 and one half pounds, his professional record stands at two victories and three defeats. Finding out of Cheltenham, England, here is Nick Nimba! And across the cage, his opponent stands, finding out of the red corner, a wrestler standing six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in officially 203 pounds. As a professional, his record stands at three victories and two defeats. Fighting out of Cardiff, Wales, he is the Lithuanian lunatic, Seamus Narkas. <laughs> Referee in charge, Ricardo Mitchell. Outstanding nickname for Seamus Narkas, Lithuanian lunatic. Let's get that hashtag trending. Nick Nembard in the black in Union Jack. Seamus Narkas in the red trunks. Touch your gloves and we are underway in the light heavyweight division. 
See Norcus lower his base momentarily and then stand back up with this almost parrying open palm style here. Very stoic in his march towards Nick Nembard. More of a kickboxing stance from Nembard. Opens up with a nice lead leg kick. I suspect Nembard's just going to have to take a moment to figure out what's going on here because this is an interesting approach from the Welsh Lithuanian. We expected him to come out as a wrestler last time, he came out as a boxer. I said to his coach, what's going on after the fight? And he said, you ain't seen nothing yet, he's got even more to show you. Perhaps we're going to see that here this evening. He's just got a flash there of how much distance he intended to cover with that backhand. And he lunged in for that straight left. Bleak kick there from Nembard. Was very spry on his toes for a big man. Yeah, of course, Southport, Southport's orthodox stance does present a whole different set of challenges. You see Nembard constantly surfing to the left, He's trying to get on the outside foot. I think, I mean, I, you know, I imagine Nembard's just as confused as we are about the approach of Seamus Norcus here. A second to figure things out. Nice right hand from Norcus there to open his account for this fight. Again, throwing the right is the Lithuanian lunatic. And immediately Norcus goes back to what he knows. Really nice counter on the way in from them by that left hook. Doing the damage, but Norcus here trying to assert some upper body control and head position on the inside. After a tentative start, we see a flurry of action here in this light heavyweight contest. Nembar trying to turn himself off the cage and create some space. He does. He double under twice, which was a, a nice dominant wrestling grip. Nembar's corner asking for the jab. Just wonder if that, that little flurry from uh, Nembard that worried Norcus changes his game plan <laughs> into a pure wrestling stance there for a moment. You get a feeling like Norcus is trying to really cover a huge amount of range and land that one strike. And Nembard already showed how adept he is at countering. Bizarre upright stance, Norcus. Appears to be confusing them by just a little. As you said though, Josh been fighting and training for a long time as Nembard. It may take him some time to adjust, but I'm sure he's got something in that bag of tricks for Seamus Norcus. He's going to be careful Norcus doesn't follow those back. It's been a fairly uneventful round so far. It's in Nembard, obviously, with that, that counter left hook, worried, the, uh, worried Norcus for a moment. The most significant action of the round. Nembard going back to the ball with those leg kicks. Seems like he's trying to bait a reaction out of Norcus. And Norcus just staring him down. I mean, that's what, it's either that or charge forward and you know go straight into a range where he can get hit back, isn't it? You know, a fighter who's not offering any sort of offense or even any sort of feints or clues, it's, uh, it's a bit of a hard puzzle for him to pick. Straight in stalemate, both for the fighters and us, as of Ferbers. Doesn't want to get pinned in up against the cage here, though. Shots did Norcus, but perhaps turning it up a little bit. Counter right came in from Nembard. I'd almost like Nembard to have a little bit more faith that he can find the chin of Norcus. Tentative on slipping on the gas. Final 10 seconds of the round. Nimbard loops a big overhand right. Didn't find a home for it. Norcus comes in with his hands by his waist that time. Stop! What a bizarre first round approach from Seamus Norcus. I'd be really interested to see what 
Paul Sutherland in the corner of Nick Lembard is going to give him some instructions to counter this. But I've got to say, although it, you know, it wasn't that significant an action, as we'll see in the replays, it was still the most significant action of, of the bout. And that's probably going to give Nick Lembard the first round. Essentially, his right hand and a follow-up behind it. was the aggressor, but certainly going to be an interesting one for our judges Let's to go, score, Jets. should it go that far. As we know, both these guys more than capable of finishing fights. Maybe a little bit too much respect on both sides for the finishing ability of their opponent. Touch of gloves, and we're on the way for the second round. Brad Ward and Josh Palmer calling the action for you here from the Newport Centre. Our main card, just 50 minutes away, top of the hour, Cage Warriors 72. Cagewarriors.com for all the broadcast details. I'd like to see Nembar try and go forward here and put some pressure on Norcus. Norcus with a leg kick that time. I think Nembard could cut some angles here and find a way in for a few of these punches. He's a lighter op opponent on his feet. He's probably got a bit more you know, experience in the stand-up. He's showing it with the movement. And that's you know that's sort of compounded by the, the statuesque approach of Sinus Norcus. I'd like to see Nembard use that jab. Put one of those big hooks behind it. The corner calling for Nembard to push his man back. They want a little bit more aggression from their fighter. Nice right hand. Nembard though backing off into the cage. Possibly trying to bait Norcus in and catch him with the overhand. You can see he's still being a little bit wary of the, the counters. Obviously that's good, but just a few inches further committing forward. A bit more belief that those punches will find the mark. Like you said, Josh, Norcus taking the centre of the cage, but no guarantee that he's actually winning this fight here. He needs to do something, he needs to show the judges something to separate himself from Nembard. Not a whole lot to go off so far. Here, here, where he's got those few moments where it appears as though he might have Nembard tracked against the fence. He has to see him go forward, consolidate that position, really back him up against the cage, and be assertive. Right now, I've got to that the approach of Seamus Norcus is a little confusing. Although he does seem to be stepping up the urgency a little bit now. When you're going against someone who's got that one-shot KO power, as Nembard does, Understandable to be tentative, but at the end of the day, Josh, they're in a fight and he's got to do something to win. It'd be remiss for either of these men to assume that they're ahead of the judges' scorecards at this moment in time. This round stays like this. I do think the first. 30 30 draw might be the first in Cage Warriors history. of time yet seven minutes of action if they need it for one of these men yeah we see he's got he's got the movement in, in you know being evasive in defense so he just needs to put that in to his attack so he can cut a few more angles and land some of those uh, heavy hands that we know he has telling him not to back up He's coming with a little more frequency now. Left hand counter from Nembard. Nothing too significant in that exchange, though. 
So there, he chased him back. It would just be nice to see him go that extra two, three, four paces after that and keep the punches coming. You've got your man turning away and backing off. Follow him off. Also trying to grab a hold of his man there. Nembar able to step away. And again, stepping off the centre of the cage is Nembar. Corner calling for him to step in, calling for the jab. Mark is content to stalk his man around the cage. Mark is throwing three punches that time. Again here, he's got him trapped. There's 20 seconds left in the round. Let's put a flurry on him. Let's connect and do some work on the inside. Let's just do something. You can see he leaves his head all the way back as he tries to throw the punches. You can't hit the guy and stay completely out of danger. You've got to go into the eye of the storm a little bit. Stop! Another frustrating round there, Josh. I mean, frustrating is a really good way to describe it. I mean, if I'm a judge, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, which of these guys really wants to win this fight. You know, if I had to give it to somebody, I'm going to give it to Nick Nembard, probably just for, you know, a few more attempted strikes landed. But Well, let's take a look at some of the action, see if we can pick out a few talking points here, Josh. Nembard landing a, a nice right as North has stepped in. Fell short with the left follow up that time. Every time Norcus tries to go in, he wants to lean his head back out of the way at the same time. And that's cutting his punches short. It means neither one of them is really finding the mark. Admittedly, he landed that jab there, but I honestly don't know what the judges are going to pick away from that round to try and decide a winner. He was not thinking a bit frustrated in his corner. I mean, the, the work rate he had in his striking in his last fight, why are we not it's seeing that now? I mean, place. I appreciate that. You know, Nick Nembard has heavy hands and there's always a potential danger there, but one of these guys has got to do something. Can I get Tao, please? Tao him, please. It's going to be a difficult one for our judges to score. Please. Donald, give me the Tao. We'd love to have you chime in with your opinions watching at home. Use the hashtag CWFC72. Give us your predictions for this fight and indeed any of our upcoming bats tonight on Cage Warrior 72. More action to come on our Facebook prelims. Before we go live around the world at the top of the hour with our main card. Azzy Thomas and Mario Saeed up next. Fireworks guaranteed. And in that wide hand position, he's baiting the straight shots down the middle, which is going to try and parry down and counter over the top. But, you know, but one of these guys has got to try and mix it up here. I mean, Norcus is waiting for you know, the straight, slightly deeper shots from Nimbard. I'm not sure they're going to come to this one. Well, the time to wait is long gone. Four minutes left in the bout. One of these guys has to do something. Somebody needs to put a stamp on this fight. I mean, they say you, you, know, you really should leave it all in the cage. To get to the end of the fight, you should know that you could not have done anything else. If either of these guys are tired at the end of this, I'll be amazed. to recover. Seemed accidental. I think so. I'm sure we'll get a replay 
in a moment. Oh, we do love these low blow replays. Yeah, definitely low there. Looked like he was trying to near the inside of the thigh. Got it on the second attempt. And you know what? Nembard was in a really good position to turn that clinch around. He had double unders with a full body lock, and Norcus's defensive overhook was just lying over the shoulder. Nembard could have turned the angle, got to his back, at least reversed the position. Nick Nembard has the time if he wants it. Case to see the referee that he's ready to go. See this box apologizing. A touch of gloves. And we're back on the way. You see a little bit of urgency now as we enter the home straight. Two and a half minutes to go. Nembo's whipping that right hook out. Still the power there, as you can clearly see. Got to put a few combinations together. The last couple of minutes, really trying to take this round. Good kick. Nemo's never seen the third round as an amateur or professional on charted territory. And the man from Trojan Free Fighters now we're seeing a bit of action from these other heavyweights. Problem for both guys in this fight. They've gone into an engagement. They've thrown a, a couple of punches and they've just retreated back again. Either one of them just needs to add the extra two, three, four punches at the end. I honestly think they catch their opponent unawares. on those punches though. going to go. I, my gut feeling is that perhaps Nembard has nicked one, maybe two rounds in there. There's possibly a drawn round. I'm as curious as you guys to see how the judges are going to score this one. It was a bit of an odd encounter overall. And not the most entertaining bout we've seen on Cage Warriors this year. Sometimes though, especially when you have these big light heavyweights, big power punches, there's just a little bit too much respect shown. Let's take a look back now at some of the action from that third and final round. Norcus with the leg kicks. Nembard, his best weapon really is the overhand right. He launched it a few times, didn't quite catch his man cleanly though. Norcus firing at the jab, but nothing behind it. Nembard just trying to turn the knuckles over on that looping hand. Nothing of significance landed really the entire fight. Our judges tally their scorecards. It'll be very interesting to see where the chips will land. Joe Martinez now making his way. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and here are the totals. Judge Ben Cartledge has it 29 28 for Norcas. <laughs> Judge David Leatherby, 29 28 for Nembar. 
And Judge Barry Oglesby has it 29-28. Your winner by split decision from Cheltenham, England, Nick Nimbard. Nick Nimbard with the split decision victory. He's with Josh Palmer. Then one like that. Next is Shay Mills. Shay Mills is coming out soon. And you're gonna knock that geezer out. Clean out. Nick, can I just ask you, Seamus Norks' approach to this fight, was that a bit confusing from the off? Yeah, it was a little bit, yeah. Was it frustrating? Yeah, because I thought he was gonna go for the shoot straight away. But obviously, he wanted to stand to me, so he was a bit confused at first. Because we drilled him, did a lot of shoots, really. And he came up with the combination, so. Well, he worked anyway. I agree, he didn't use my footwork. He couldn't really put any shots on me anyway. And I just can't count up with the, with the um, counter and the jab and stuff like that. Did you have a good camp for this one? I mean, you're 30 years old now, you're looking to keep going? Yeah, yeah, I've got another, another six, seven years of me yet. I'm still young, I'm three and three, like, so. Still got a lot to improve. I mean, the best camp in England, Trojan Free Fighters. Best camp in England. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Nick Nembard. The split decision victory for Nick Nembard. And he has some strong words of support for his teammate Shane Mills. Taking on Jack Marshall, our co-main event this evening, Cage Warriors 72.